more in training axe just out for a walk with the doggy axe doing a lot of that just like doggy axe you like that eh? just like a lot of the world we're doing a lot more of this right now and uh, there are a lot of things that we're starting to do right now during lockdown that we don't normally do when the schedule is typical and I went out to a lot of the pros who have YouTube channels and said hey what are all of you doing that's a little bit different right now Car. First up is one of the female athletes that I think is set to be one of the next, I would say consecutive, multiple time winners of Kona. Not the only one, but certainly one of them, Laura Phillips. She's awesome. I'm Laura Phillip and one thing that I'm currently doing that I never thought I would ever do again is uh, skating. <laughs> I have my rollerblades on and um, I use these poles um, to do some swim specific strength exercise and I skate up my favorite mountain and it's such a great exercise. I feel my lats are growing and yeah, if you also have some skates in your cellar, try it out. Next is the only daily triathlon vlogger on YouTube. We passed the torch over to Scott Bavel, who is also one of our coaches on Team Trainiac. Thanks, Scott. You're awesome. And you've got a tremendous accent. Really good one. Hey, everyone. Scott Bavel here. So what am I doing differently now that I'm in lockdown that I wasn't doing before lockdown? Well, just did a run on the treadmill indoors. Uh, treadmill running cap on here and now what I didn't do before this whole coronavirus lockdown is play PlayStation I think I haven't played PlayStation since I was back in school but now I'm playing PlayStation and I'm replacing the Normatec boots with my PlayStation as recovery at the moment and these are the games that I'm playing Hope everyone's doing well in the lockdown and find something that you weren't doing now that maybe you've got a bit more time on your hands to do, so. Next up, the trues, some of my favorites. Not these trues, these trues. Hi, it's Sarah. And I'm Ben. And what have we been up to? Um, That's different. I've been teaching my nieces, so I've been brushing up on what it's like to be in second and fourth grade and exercising still, uh, making sourdough bread. Yeah, uh, not much has changed for me. Uh, luckily where we live, we can still run outside and so I've still been able to do a majority of my training. The only hard part is finding tracks. So. And a barber. Can you tell me about this haircut? No. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be more aerodynamic, cause you know. Because, you know, turbulent flow. It's something. It's yeah. his quarantine hair. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hope, hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, Bye. So next up is some of the best, strongest legs in the business, Ruth Astle, who won the overall female amateur in Kona last year. World champion. She's damn good. So I'm quite lucky in that actually I haven't had to change too much. Um, we're still allowed to get outside here, so I've been able to do quite a lot of riding and running outside. Uh, so the thing that I probably have changed is I'm taking the extra time through not swimming um, to do a lot more yoga. So I've been trying to do yoga about four or five times a week. As you can see, I am pretty rubbish right now and I've got a long way to go. So. One of the things that I'm going to be working on throughout lockdown is that kind of mobility and flexibility and some of the strength. So hopefully by the end of the next few weeks or however long it's going to be, uh, I might actually be able to do some slightly more advanced yoga moves. But let's see, I think there's some quite impressive uh, yoga triathletes out there uh, that I've got quite a lot to live up to, but we'll keep working on it. Next is Olympian and fellow dog whisperer, Ben Canute. Whoa! Apparently I'm not. 
I'm Ben Canute, and during this time of quarantine and shelter in place, the thing that I've been doing that I didn't do before everything that was going on is I'm training a puppy. We got one just as about the quarantine was starting, so we've been working a lot on training. He's only nine weeks old, so still a work in progress, but we'll see how he's progressed. Tucker, come here, Tucker. Come here. Come here, Tucker. Good boy. Sit. Good. Down. Good boy. So there's all those fun casual videos out there. Then there's these show-offs who come out of left field and really make us all feel bad about our video editing and producing skills. Hey everybody, I'm Eric. This is Paula. Uh, our YouTube channel is called That Triathlon Life and we basically just show what we do. Highlights of a week. Um, we're down here in Tucson, Arizona right now. The thing that we've been doing a bit more of since the coronavirus hit is camping. So we go down to Patagonia, it's about an hour and a half from Tucson. The roads are really empty, we do a lot of gravel riding just to minimize our interaction with people. We hardly see anybody on those rides and there's also a lake down there for some open water swim access which is a privilege right now since all the pools are closed up here. Yeah, um, we're able to do this because we do have a van. We initially kind of built out the van to allow us to do big road trips and kind of take weekend trips to places we want to go train, and it's just turned out to be super handy uh, in these times. So we've been living with Heather and Wadi while we're down in Tucson, so they're kind of our quarantine crew, and they've been coming down and camping with us. We come back to Tucson to their house every couple, of, every week or so to you know get groceries, do laundry and then head back down camping again. So we love the van, it makes it really easy to pack up food and have somewhere to sleep that's comfortable. Um, doesn't have a shower, so we get creative with that. But uh, it's all things we wouldn't normally do in season if we were actually racing and needing to be a little more focused and disciplined with our training schedule. So this pandemic has sort of allowed us the flexibility to go and have fun camping and doing off-road different things um, that we didn't wouldn't normally do. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for the whole pandemic time is just to um, embrace it, see what it is for what it is, do some things that you normally wouldn't be able to do, maybe you haven't done in years, and um, I don't think that's a new skill. Do what you can while you can. Well, stay healthy, everybody. Well, there's that masterpiece. Thanks for putting that together, Eric and Paula. And uh, as NTK put it, then there's this <laughs> challenge. I, I don't know what Team Charles Barkley is up to. They're going a little squirrely. Hi, I'm Lucy Charles. And for this exercise, you're gonna need a bosu, a dog, and lots and lots of balance. It's very, very difficult. But it's really good for you running and tones your bottom up. <laughs> and me? Well, training is lighter, so I am spending a lot of time playing Doom Eternal. I got an Xbox, and it's the first time I've played video games in about 15 years. Cool. So that's it, Trainiacs. Thanks to all the pros for contributing. There are links to all of everyone's channels in the description below. We're all looking for things to do to entertain ourselves during lockdown, and the more we have, the better. So all of their channels are putting out content that you can go and watch while you're busy, perhaps in between Xbox games. If you aren't already subscribed and you want content during lockdown, our kind of channel. Hit the subscribe button below. Okay, I get back to this. Hey buddy, what have you been up to during quarantine? Nothing? Chasing squirrels? Yeah? Ignoring your humans? Yeah, that's fair.